So what happened on that roof and inside the shaft where firefighter Price fell? CBS 2 investigator Dave Savini has been speaking with his sources throughout the day. He joins us now live in our newsroom, Dave. Joe and Erica, the CBS 2 investigators obtained photos from inside the light shaft where Price fell. This will give you a perspective about the size and height of the four-story light shaft. It appears a plastic corrugated roof covering that covered the shaft somehow gave way. It was at the bottom of that light shaft where Price's fellow firefighters fought frantically to try and save him. This is the view looking up from where Chicago firefighter Drew Price fell. You can see windows to apartments on the walls and pipes running up to the roof on one side, cords and cables running up another. To give you a better perspective, from above you can see this is one of two light shafts so apartment building residents can get some natural light without rain or snow getting in. One light shaft is now missing its roof and the other has holes poked through it. Holes possibly made during the attempted rescue or when Price and other firefighters from truck 44 were sent to the roof via ladders to vent the fire smoke. Truck 44 put a ladder to the roof to assist in vertical ventilation. This is where it is believed something went terribly wrong for Price. It's not clear yet if this light shaft roof completely collapsed at the time of his fall or if parts of the plastic and wood roof were moved during the attempts to reach him four stories down. You can see his fellow firefighters carrying tools through the Lincoln Station bar door. Using axes, pry bars, and pipe poles, they fought to break through a wall in the back of the bar to make a passageway to pull him through. Some were covered in soot, others buckled over in exhaustion. We looked through inspection reports from the city and so far have found nothing, no recent violations for the light shaft or the roof. The only building permit we could find was for new windows last year and it passed inspection back then. We'll keep digging. In the newsroom, Dave Savini, CBS 2 Investigators. All right. Thank you, Dave. Stay with CBS 2 for the latest developments on our news at 10 o'clock and we will also bring you updates on our streaming channel, CBS News Chicago, throughout the night.